You seem nervous. Well, uh, hmm, yes, I guess I am. Why? Well, why not? Uh, at a time like this. What is there about a time like this to create what appears to be a state of emotional imbalance? Oh, I'm balanced. I'm perfectly balanced. Uh, absolutely symmetrical. It's just, uh... Yes, yes, yes. Mad bus driver here, brothers and the ladies and the hitters that are most definitely watching. Yeah. So, um, every year, every year, there's prom photos that come out that gives you a glimpse to what the future is going to be like. And every year, you know, the past, I guess, 10 years, the community acts like they don't see these photos. And when you point it out to the community, the community, that um, it's a wrap in these streets, the community just calls you a sellout, a simp, a sambo, Uncle Ruckus, Uncle Remus, Uncle Tom. Talk about you are trying to promote the, ex the extinction of your peoples. You know, the, the usual scare and shaming tactics to try to keep you on the reservation on the plantation. And now we have a whole new front opening up. Passport bros. Passport bros are catching a lot of heat from the BWs these days. Why? Because uh, they are seeking their freedom and they're exercising their options. And um, folks in the community can't handle that. They can't handle the fact. And the theory is, it's a theory that, it's, um, you know, brothers have been doing that uh, for years now, you know, and but it's been small numbers, but um, due to the fact that these are the brothers that the community rejects, they, they don't care about, um, you know, uh, the brothers traveling overseas. Um, because usually it could be older gentlemen, uh, like in the last video, or uh, just the, the social rejects, such as myself, right? Uh, the brother that wears the helmet. Uh, who's scared to show his face, shit like that, right? Uh, you know, creeping around these streets with the Burger King mask looking for some white titties. Uh, that, those type of men, <laughs> the community don't really give a shit, apparently. So the theory is, now that the so-called Pookies and Ray Rays are, uh, has gathered passports and are heading overseas, this is pissing the B-dubs off because the BWs see that there you're cutting into their um, you're cutting into their uh, love market. I mean, these are the guys that they breed with. But I seen a video where a chick was talking about the Pookies and the Ray Rays and the Day Days can't travel overseas because they owe back child support. She was using, you know, black men as a placeholder for those type of men, uh, you know, trying to paint brothers all in the same brush. But the thing about it is this. Uh, the theory is that, the, you know, now that the hood dicks are going to the DR or to Brazil, uh, the sisters can't compete. Um, but as you see with the prom photos, uh, they got bigger fish to fry than uh, the random broham heading out to the DR. Why? Because the random broham that they think is Nook Nook and Day Day, they don't, apparently don't have the record or got their record clean to be able to go overseas. And uh, they're going to go to certain places. Like if, if you're really talking about the Hoodniks, they're going to, you know, the Dominican Republic. Uh, you know, they to Puerto Rico, they're going to uh, Colombia, and they're going to Brazil. And these aren't the type of bros that are going to be heading out to Thailand, uh, Cambodia, the Philippines, because those are more uh, complicated places for uh, those type of brothers to go to. So, um, you know, uh, you, you need a, to 
to have a certain fortitude to go to those particular type of foreign lands. I mean, because it's on the other side of the planet. It's not in the same hemisphere. Uh, you, you, these guys are used to, you know, sort of like looking at the Hispanic chicks, but looking at some foreign chick from Iceland or, or, you know, or, or something from Russia or something from the Far East, that's going to be, uh, uh, it's, it's a little more of a, it's not elementary. Let's just say it's the more uh, middle school, high school type level. Um, so passport bros that they're complaining about are going to be the lowbrow type of brothers that are going to the DR. But they're screaming over these type of gentlemen. They're losing their mind over these brothers going overseas to find them dates. And it's like, why are you, why are they, why would they care? It's like, why would you, why, why would you care? You're saying bye, bye, Nicks, bye, bye, bro. See, see you later. You know, you, you hitting them with the hand movement. Why do you care if they travel overseas? But be that as it may, your real problem problem here is what you see in the phone. It's the younger generation. The Generation Z's, as they say. The Generation Alpha coming behind them. It's a wrap in these streets. Brothers, it's a wrap in these streets. You need to get your mind right. Think about it like this, right? All these hoteps talking shit on the, on the internet about black power, black pride, Afrocentric shit. It's the same shit Sonetta and them been saying for years, right? Sonetta, a couple of generations before them, you know, was with the Black Panthers and, and they were with Khalid Muhammad and all of that shit from back in the day those guys that grew up they're now old men and you know what's going on with uh, 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 the, the controversy drama with like Sonetta and Sonetta TV it's now he's got you know white ladies as moderators on his channel there's even been like you know videos showing him you know contradicting himself telling you know years back in the day telling uh, black men if you have love for your own people you got no love for nobody else how could you want to be with the, the cracker and all of that stuff like that uh it's sickening and all this shit and then later on <laughs> he's talking about uh, you know if your brother's talking about you you don't see no fine white women or a white men attractive y'all lying i know you lie because i see some fine ass white women i seen some white men from behind you would have to come up and say hey they were uh you know hispanic a, a latino puerto rican but they're white as white as snow this is what's going on this is what's going on y'all have been duped because these race baiters have made money over the years teaching you and telling you shit that they really don't even believe. You think Big Umi Zumi, Umar Johnson, really believes all that crazy shit that he's talking about? I'm going to petition. I'm going to. I'm going to send a letter to uh, 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 Clarence Thomas because I we're going to put a petition together to get them uh, to to overthrow Loving versus Virginia. You know, the, 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 the thing that legalized interracial marriage. He's going to try to get Clarence Thomas to, you know, to over overturn that by sending him petitions signed by all his minions that follow him. And the, the Goofies were dumb enough in the comment section to try to be like, yeah, we're going to back his play. We're going to, we're going to, you know, um, <laughs> we're going to send him. You know, we're going to write this petition. We're going to write, sign our well, same name exactly on this petition so we can send it to Clarence Thomas so Clarence Thomas could overturn Loving versus Virginia. The same Clarence Thomas who's married to a white lady, a snow bunny. You see, this is the shit that I'm talking about. These people don't believe the shit that they say. But they know all they have to do is hit the key words, the key phrases, and they keep y'all duped. But these younger generations aren't feeling it like that. I'm sure, I'm sure there's something that's gonna fall for the, the okie doke, but the vast majority, no way. Cause they heard, they've been hearing it, they've been hearing it from their uncle, hearing it from their, their father if he's around, hearing it from their mother most definitely. And somebody got into their ear and be like, yo, it's a bunch of bullshit. Because it is. 
the black community as a whole really doesn't exist. It is a made up pseudo matriarchy fortified up by the patriarchal system of the United States of America. Sort of like learning your faith. Shored up faith. with the paycheck that replaces the man. Replaces the father in the home. And the younger generations, if they know it or not, are rejecting that lifestyle and they're choosing to forge a new path by eliminating the main problem that has been passing down this pathology generation after generation since the 1960s. Because it's been there since, since uh, uh, Reconstruction, since after slavery. But it's been bottled up because there were rules and regulations and there's uh, what you would call, you know, there, there, there was boundaries, laws, the black holes that kept you within certain boundaries. But once those external pressures were released, the destruction has begun. And so these younger brothers are like, yo, why would I want to stay on a sinking ship? And for, for those who say, look at the image in the thumbnail, I think we're gonna place it in the thumbnail and say, uh, this, this ain't real, you know, cause they're holding hands and not holding, you know, uh, the hands of their, the, the, the guy standing behind them. And so you mean to tell me, right? The prom, this type of prom, exactly the once in a lifetime type of prom, time, right? Today. That these well, ladies are attending. So they have their prom dates. You're gonna tell me the white chick's gonna have a white prom date, right? But she's gonna go take a picture posing with a black student as if the black student was her prom date with a bunch of other girls. An image that's gonna go viral, an image that's going to last decades into the future, where people are gonna remember that image and not the image of her and her prom dates, her white prom date. You, you mean to tell me that that guy is gonna be happy and satisfied with her taking a picture with a group of black guys? You no, know, this shit is real. Those are those chicks' prom dates. They, they got black boyfriends or black boyfriends for the day to go on the prom date. What you see is real. This is not the first time something like this has happened. They know what's going on because they were like, oh, your boyfriend's black and your boyfriend's black and your boyfriend's black. Okay, we need to take a photo together. And when prom comes through, they all make sure they got all lined up. They got their boyfriends lined up and snap, take that picture. It's a statement. They know it's going to go viral. They know Umar Johnson's going to lose his damn mind. They know Tyreek Nasheed might want to say something about it because they know that the black, the BWs, they know that the ladies of the community are gonna feel some type of way. And the simps that are still around to lick the crack of the behind are gonna gas their heads up with some BS. Yeah, girl, cause you know, you the best. I don't know how them brothers, what them brothers is thinking. Why would they want to mess with the, with a snow roach? Why won't they mess with us? The, why are they messing with the sister? Well, not messing with the sister, with, and they messing with the snow roaches. Maybe because the snow roach is exotic compared to a regular brown roach. I don't know. The brother that's why it's being bad boss driver. Out. And let me come back with a PS for that ass. Let me come back with a PS for that ass. How many chicks from around the way with them brothers in their community are going to be uh, attractive, physically attractive as a teenager, the prime of your life, weight-wise, real hair, central feminine looking, for these young brothers who will be who will, who will be in the prime of their life, athletic, you know, young brothers. How, what are the odds? Slim to none. I mean, and, and they, 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 there may be some out there, but for the, for the lineup to find one that's not going to be in high school, obese, in high school. 
Oh, brothers, that's why it's be a mad boss driver. Wow. Unfortunate word. Well, I certainly didn't mean. A word that. which, if stated in seriousness, would indicate a definite need for readjustment. Well, or sometimes a word just pops out. The word fate belongs to the obsolete societies of the barbaric past. 